Hey guys, Herf here. Welcome to a new series, uh, Playing Subsistence. Uh, this game is uh, new to me in the last few days, and uh, I've become super addicted to it, so I figured I might as well uh, start off a fresh game and let's record. So we're going to play uh, easy difficulty to start. Hunters are disabled, um, and, and you know I probably will turn them on if we do a Season 2, but for now I'm just going to do Season 1, and the rest of these uh, are default. Uh, even though it says January, it'll start us off, I think, in April or at the end of March or something. So, 24 days per year. So, we'll spend two days in each month. Um, yeah, so this is a crazy survival game. Uh, really hard to get started um, and kind of get a foothold. Uh, we're probably going to die several times, but we'll give it a shot. Um, where the heck are we, man? Uh, avoid wolves, yeah, because they're gonna they're gonna kill you. So the only area of this map that I know is uh, the southeast. So we're gonna try to head to south. Uh, try head southeast. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where we are based on based on this. So okay, enough uh, times of wasting. So we need to gather wood, we need to gather uh, plant fiber, we need to gather basically everything. So we got to whack trees. Uh, the goal for today is to, is to try to make a bow, try to get a couple of, um, couple of animals, uh, small, small animals like rabbits or um, chickens or something, so that we can eat. Uh, this is uh, going to give us three wood. So I'll show you quick. You start off with a bandage, matches, bottle of water. Uh, start off with a pistol on easy. Pistol is freaking useless though. Uh, won't kill anything. Um, an apple for carbs, and uh, and nothing for meat. So there's a wolf already. Got to avoid him. Keep an eye on him. I really want that. Plant fiber right there next one. You know what? Let's grab it. Okay. He's going to be following us, but not chasing us. So we should be able to ditch him. Ooh, a crate. Alright, excellent. We already got some cordage. That'll help. Um, so we need a, a bunch of this plant fiber to craft cordage so that we can craft a bow and some arrows. Uh, those nails will help us. Uh, we need a ton of wood. We need a ton of everything. So we're going to run around, try to avoid everything. Try not to run out of stamina so that if we run into an animal, we can get the hell away. This tree will give us four. And I've lost count. That must have been four. So I am going in the wrong direction. So you can run, and as far as I know, running does not impact, you know, it doesn't have negative impact on your health or anything. It does drain stamina, but it doesn't consume, you know, your food or anything any faster. Uh, it just runs you into predators quicker. There's a chicken. I'm going to try to do this weird jump thing that I've seen some guys do. Supposedly confuses the AI of the chicken. And when you get on top of it, ah, I totally panicked and missed. Okay. Well, we'll try again. We've, we've got too much other stuff to do here. There's a box right there. Okay, three. Not close enough. All right, we've got a 44 Magnum uh, bullet. <laughs> So, we do have a map, but our map is going to be all dark. Um, I don't know where the heck we even are, so... Oh, there's that chicken again. All right. The only problem with the small animals is that they will run you into the larger predators. Uh, they're usually not right near them when you find them. But as you chase them... All right, I'm going to ignore the chicken. Is that a wolf? Damn it! 
faster. I want that crate. Oh, crap. He's chasing us. Okay. No. He's on us like dirty diapers here. I'm going to try to run, outrun him. Okay, he's following us again. We can circle back to this box and grab it. I don't know where it was. Oh, uh, there it is. Come on, baby. Mine. Earths. All right. We are scooting. So I gotta head southeast. We're going southwest. South. All right. Southeast. Southeast is the only spot of this map that I, I really know. I know where resources are, so we got a better chance of surviving over there. Uh, there's that wolf again. Leave her alone. These bigger trees uh, sometimes are guarded by predators. We are playing easy, but really, really, it's just degrees of hard. Um, we can hit this one six times, and we get a grub, and the grub is a source of protein. It can also be used uh, as fishing bait or um, bait for traps. Fish traps. Uh, we may end up having to eat a couple of these today. I doubt we're going to get to fishing tonight. Is that another grub tree right there? Sprint a little bit till we hear growing. Uh, I don't see nobody. Alright, they're southeast that way, so we gotta go that way. Alright, wood, 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 wood. We haven't picked up much in the way of plant fiber yet. Lost count of how many? Okay, I guess that was six because I see the grub. Uh, all right, we can make two cordage. Craft, craft. We're going to need for a bow. Uh, we're going to need six cordage. We picked up one in the chest. Oh, um, or maybe two. I can't remember. It's a box. Was that another box to my right? It was. Two apples, look at us, we're surviving. All right, we'll pick up this, that's medical, uh, medicinal herbs or something like that. Um, I have no idea how far off we are, I don't recognize this area yet. Uh, is that, that was, uh, oh, an onion, all right, we picked up an onion. We can eat that for carbohydrates. Yeah, so there are three uh, bars that we have to keep an eye on. Um, what you see on the bottom right there is just stamina and uh, your your health. But there are three stats that comprise um, your health. So there are these. There is um, the proteins, and then there's fruits and vegetables, and then there's hydration. So we need to eat protein, we need to eat uh, carbs, and then we need water. We do have a bucket of water. We do now have a couple of apples and an onion. Uh, so we're eventually going to need protein by the end of the day. There's a wolf. Uh. Okay, one growl, not too bad. We're heading east. We need to head southeast. All right, let's grab some more wood here. I think the wolves are off of us. It's only going to give us three. Uh, this might give us four. I think that's a crate over there. Um, all right, I don't see anybody. Craptacular again. I don't have time to like you can kite them away like get them interested in you well closer to the crate you bastard okay I don't have time to deal with you and Herf has a shotgun another one oh my god they're everywhere right, 
That was plant fiber. I almost missed. Okay, we need to find crates. We might find a couple of arrows in crates if we get lucky. And I'm heading northeast. I get all turned around so easily in this game. Uh, all right, let's grab some wood. Peek around. Maybe we see a crate or two. I do not. I always end up hitting one extra because <laughs> I lose count. Earth's brain is weak. All right, craft, craft. That gives us six of those. I think we need to craft some sticks. And the bow. Um, might be able to craft the bow the next time we stop. And that's half the battle. Because um, we need some nails some feathers and crap like that to make arrows unless we happen to find a couple. So. Alright, I think... Are you serious? Is this a locked... Okay. So, this is a locked chest. This is... There were four kinds of chests that I found so far uh, in the wild. There is kind of a blue camo chest that... that typically is um, kind of ammunition then there's a green sort of camo chest uh, and there's a, a wooden crate and then there's that one that we just saw which is a locked chest we won't have the ability to open that until we craft a BCU which is I think a base control unit, a base command unit let's try to catch this chicken here Better not be running me to a wolf, you little dirty bastard. Got him. Ooh, we got him, and we got some scrap metal. All right, I think I know where we are now. Is that a bear? It is. Okay. Hectic, hectic, hectic. These grubs don't give you too much in the way of protein, but if we have to, we can eat them. Um, but we do have some nails. We don't have feathers. Unless we kill this guy. Let's see if we can find another chicken. Or maybe some more crates. We have some time before this guy dies. They will suffocate or die, or whatever it is in your inventory. You guys got to be next to every crate? You're killing me. Oh my god, he's right next to it too. Earth needs supplies. Okay, again, don't have time. Why don't you go a different direction there, brother? No, not towards me. Check this. Maybe we can kite them a little bit this way. I don't really have time to do this crap. But if we kite him... Okay. Now I have to hit the right buttons. Another chicken. All right. So I'm hitting space... Oh, another chicken. away from the bear. Oh yeah, okay, he's right there. Should have time to grab this quick and run. Hit the right buttons. Take all. Sprint. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy. Okay, um. Are you serious? Again, with the locked chest. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this is kind of where I want to settle down here in this peninsula. It's the area that I'm familiar with. At least I know the map. Um, you know, every game is different where the animals are. I shouldn't be sprinting up to this. They tend to kind of be in the proximity of these big grub trees. Yep, there's one down there. 
I mean, they're all over the place, but they do tend to not really guard these trees, but they tend to spawn here because these are these are good. All right. So not bad, not bad. We've got these two grub trees. What do we got? We got four grubs. We got a tiny bit of protein. Um. We got two chickens. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, don't watch if you're skittish. <laughs> Gotta love that noise. All right, we got four feathers now, so we should be able to craft uh, ammo. All right. What do I need to craft a campfire? Just need sticks. Craft, craft. Um, we do have matches to start the campfire. So, all right, we're going to let all this stuff craft. We're going to go hunt for some more supplies while that's crafting. Because we never have enough time for anything in this game. It's always urgent. Uh, it is ever stressful. Um... Here, we're going to go grab this. Plant fiber, plant fiber, plant fiber. Yeah, like I said, there are some survival games that seem to, you know, when you do a lot of sprinting, um, it does uh, hasten your, um, you know, you have to eat food more often, right? It, it's sort of, is that it? What is that? That is a wolf. Okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> and that's the guy we saw up above. So there's a little peninsula over here uh, where those two trees are. It's kind of hard to see straight ahead. but um, I'm familiar with this area, and that's relatively safe. Plus you're right on the water. Uh, we need to be near the water for fishing and for kelp uh, which is a good source of carbohydrates uh, there's one straight ahead so we're doing pretty good we got a couple of chickens we can cook uh, so I'm gonna dive here for some kelp and uh, won't make you watch every second of this but there's a few of them here yeah the nice thing about diving in this game is that you you th there's no sort of cooldown to get your breath back uh, the moment you surface, you have full oxygen, pretty much. So, all right, that gives us four kelp just in this area. And there's another one. See, it spawns spawns behind you. That's one of the tricks in this game is that, you know, consider backtracking uh, to a degree because things do spawn behind you. Not necessarily crates, but I've seen a lot of, you know, plants like... Um, like the plant fiber, medicinal herbs, you know, kelp, for example, like we just saw, uh, kind of spawns behind you. So if you spend back, you know, some some time backtracking or at least stop and look behind you on occasion, you might see some crap that wasn't there when you ran by. Now, me, in my case, I probably just didn't see it because I'm a magoo, blind as hell, but... Um, I also do this serpentine thing. I go back and forth. I have issues with depth, per depth perception, apparently speaking as well. Uh, so by moving back and forth for me, I can see if there's like a taller fiber plant, you know, closer to me. So this little peninsula with the two trees, that's where I want to make a foundation. Ultimately, start building uh, a base. Be nice if we could pick up a couple of rabbits here today. Did we craft a bow? I didn't actually craft a bow, did I? Uh, I need more sticks. Craft a stick. Those are usually pretty quick. Take a bow, craft a bow. What do we need for arrows? We've already crafted arrows. Um, 
All right, yeah, actually, we're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty good. We need to make... I need to make a campfire, right? I already said that. Did I craft a campfire? I have not. We need more sticks. Craft those. All right. Make a campfire. I don't want to run up over a ridge. Because you could run right into a freaking wolf or bear. All right, this one. Seems relatively tame. Sometimes I circle around and just see what I can see, especially with these big trees. Um, like while I'm whacking it, just to... This is a pretty good vantage point. You can usually see if there are chests in the field down here. I'm not seeing any. Uh, what time of day is it? Uh, looks like maybe 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Is that a chest up there? Sometimes the way this game works, too, is that things that spawn in appear to be a block. And when you get close to them, it'll transform into... Uh, is that another... That's a third locked chest that we've seen today? You're kidding me, right? Oh, my God. I mean, there's no way. No way we can get that today. And that won't be here when we... Even if we get out of... Is that another bear? Jeez. Jeez, man! Alright, well, we're not having great chest luck today, but we are having good plant fiber luck, which is... That's another bear. My god. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, if we can, what do I need to craft a foundation? Uh, we don't have enough nails, so we can't craft a fine. That's fine. Oh, crap. What was that? That's our carbohydrates. Let's go ahead and eat this onion. And you know what? I'm just going to eat these five kelp. Let's eat the five kelp. Let's drink our water. Oh man, I missed it. I missed it. Herf, you're weak. Game is weak. Oh, bear. Okay. Hopefully there's no bear this way and we're not trapped on its ridge. So I think what I'm going to do is come down here. We're going to set up our campfire near where we're going to place our foundation. And uh, we'll cook this chicken, get some meat in us, and then we'll see what supplies we can maybe grab uh, before it gets dark. I think we should be able to craft us a campfire. Um, Alright, we're going to drag that down. We'll cook. Uh, we have matches to get the campfire started, um, which is good. Alright, so it's in our. It populates. Uh, so I hit number eight because it's in our eighth slot. Just going to place it down here. And you can shift left click. You have to be in the fire to shift left click and I'm gonna shift left click on wood it's gonna fill up the fuel uh, and we can ignite it and then we throw our two chicken in there and what we can do while that's cooking real quick is come over here we'll refill our water and then we'll throw the water in with the chicken that'll boil and become the little teardrop or water drop will come blue then we can drink it again. We did pick up an oil, which is good, because we're probably going to need to craft a fire starter. So let's make a couple more sticks. Just make a few. Why not? Now the thing with the fire starter is that you actually need um, you need these plant fibers. So I don't want to craft them all into uh, into rope. But what do we need for a fishing pole again? We need six cordage. All right, these are done. We're going to grab that. Let's stoke the fire. So we need, yeah, we need plant fiber. 
Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to find it yet. We can hit these trees on the way back. So I'm just going to cruise around this area again, see if we can't find any plant fibers. Maybe we can do some fishing tonight. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and eat these chicken too, because we are super low. Alright, that, that's going to get us a little ways. We do have um, we do have some arrows, so if I see a rabbit... Did you hear that? Was that a chicken? All right, okay. I can't see. Oh man, it's gonna get dark fast. Yeah, we're kind of screwed. And it's probably gonna get too cold at night to do much because we don't have anything but pants on <laughs> right now. So, oh man, yeah, there's nothing around here. This is. This is lame. There's a chicken. I'm going to waste an arrow and kill the chicken. Got him. First try. Perftacular. Alright guys, well, the sun is going down. Probably, uh... Yeah, it's March, so when the sun goes down, it's probably going to get pretty cold here. And we are not dressed. You start off with just uh, basic pants. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, let's see. But we'll be able to stay warm here by the fire. So, let's see. We can kill this chicken for some more feathers. Uh, we can butcher it. <laughs> and, uh... All right, so we got a few nails. Let's make um. Let's make some more arrows. Do I need anything for the arrows? Nope. Okay, we can use up the chicken feathers. So beautiful. How are we doing on carbs? Go ahead and eat this kelp. And we should uh we should have enough food here to uh. Get the fire going to survive until morning. We got quite a few blueberries, which is good. We got two apples. Plenty of carbs. Yeah, the issue is going to be protein. Now, I hoped that we could make a fishing rod. But, yeah, we don't have enough cordage. We couldn't find any uh, at the end of the day there. So that's cooked. Let's go ahead and just eat that to get our carbs up. I mean, our uh, proteins up. We got five grubs, so we can actually eat a couple of grubs if we need to. Um, I'm going to take that water. You know what, we'll go ahead and just drink the water. Yeah, the issue is um, with stamina, right? So you have this big, um, your hunger bar impacts stamina. So when you start to get really low in any of these, um, you know, you, you won't be able to run as long or as far or as fast. So you can't get away from predators. Which really, uh, you know, lends yourself to dying. So, so yep, our goals for tomorrow are going to be run around, collect as much as we can, try to keep this campfire going, kill a few chickens, kill a few rabbits, start to gather supplies. We're going to craft ourselves a foundation. We're going to craft ourselves a wall and then a, a base control, a base command unit, BC, BCU. Um... So, yeah, that's it, guys. It's, uh, it's a pretty harsh, brutal survival game, even on easy. Um, I feel like I did a good job not to die today, especially we were getting chased by a couple of things. But uh, there's not going to be much going on at night. Hey, let's go down here. We'll see what... Get away from the fire. Yeah, see, it's three degrees. And if we go any further up, it's going to drop. Even, even just walking over towards the hair. Look over here, I'll show you. Even just going up slightly in elevation like this, it's already at 2 degrees. And our tolerance is like right there at 2 degrees, so... There it goes. We're getting that blue damage. Which isn't good. That starts to uh, 
starts to take away this is what takes away your stamina in food at uh, not stamina but your um, you know your your fruits and veggies and your and your proteins takes it away at an accelerated rate so you become you know we already lost uh, a bit there so I'm gonna go ahead and eat a grub which is gross but I'm gonna eat one yeah you don't get too much so everything has a stat here so if you hover over it see it's only four protein but it is protein so but we should be good until morning um, anyway guys that's it yep first day we made it we didn't die uh, we will pick things up here in uh, in day two and hopefully we can start uh, to work on a tiny bit of a base maybe get some storage uh, do some hunting for small game and uh, try to find as many crates as we can gather supplies um, thank you guys uh, so much for watching uh, if you find yourself enjoying uh, what we do here throw us a like a comment consider subscribing all these things do help us out and I hope you look forward to uh, seeing uh, some more of subsistence.